Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. This is Ben Stevens with Stevens Family Outdoors. This is Thomas, Thomas Stevens. Stevens. This is my daughter Elena and my son Remington. They're going to be the judges today. Tom wants to take his old brother on. He failed at the wrestling thing and everything else in life. So he wants to try to take me on trad. He has a bit more experience than me, but I feel confident in my natural God-given ability. So we're going to fire up. How many arrows you want to shoot? Go with one. One arrow. Keeps you from rushing through your shots. Not a problem. One arrow apiece. My arrow of choice. Tom, like they say, you're younger, you go first. No excuses, you've checked your arrow for straightness. All right. I was checking my bevel, actually. Stand, up, stand to your left. Just right there. Whoa, whoa, that's good. Good here. Yes, sir. <sighs> Folks, I'm a little bit concerned, <laughs> but not real concerned, okay? In just a moment there, Ben. Let me yes, zoom sir. let me zoom up and see see where Tommy hit so that you're not saying on the hill. Hey, by the way, I don't know if you'd be able to do that twice in a row. My dear, say otherwise. You ready? We're ready. Man, you've got me on the spot, like made me wait and everything. Let me go see where he hit there. One. Uh, they're side by side. Uh, I think Tommy is a little closer. Tommy's to a the little goal. closer to that shot. Uh, all right. But we're doing the best of five. Round one goes to Tommy. We're going to hit round two. So Remington, Elena, who won that battle? Well, I think Uncle Tommy actually won at Dan Square. He was more closer and he was concentrating very hard. Um, I think Remington does agree. You agree? I think he agrees. Well, there we have it. All right, we're going to get round two rolling. You might want to shoot a different arrow. This one's kind of split. It is? Yeah. All right, folks, Tom pointed it out to me. Tom, I appreciate your honesty that my arrow had a slight issue at the knock of a cracking. I believe that took the course of two inches uh, in the lost column. That's Could have been a W. Of, that's a bunch of crud. So. We're going to try this again with a new arrow. Tom. Ben, as you say, losers go first. Okay, thank you. At least I get to go first in life or something. Tom, Woo! I think it was the arrow. Woo! Folks. I can confidently say it's a tied ball game after two rounds, and Tom hasn't even shot round two yet. How many shots? Go ahead, Tommy. The tie ball game went about the same thank spot you, as you did last you, time. Collect those arrows, I like they say. The here. losers should collect. That's what I'm talking about. That was that arrow last time, I'm telling you. Crack knock. It's a bunch of crud. It was the knock. I'm telling you, man. So, what do the judges think after round two? If Remington looks at me and smiles when I'm talking to him, I've won. Remington, did dad win? That smile says I won the round. I didn't win that round. Lena, who won the round? I would say you would, but last game you would have you pro you both would have probably tied because of your one arrow. Thank you, honey. Um, so <laughs> round three is coming up. So now we're gonna see who's gonna win this one round and they're gonna be the winner of the whole thing. No, they won't be yet. One to one. It's gonna have to take more than that. Uh, Tom, I think. 
Go ahead, Tom. Give it to you right there, on a little bit on the edge of the pie plate there. Now, folks, do you want to zoom up on that first? Zoom in on that arrow. You need to look off the plate a little bit. To the left. It's at, at 9 o'clock. You ready now? I do think he sabotaged my fletches a little bit on the way back. Anything to get an advantage on me. These are the hard ones, folks. I think I have a wide open shot because he missed so bad. Concentrate, concentrate. See, folks? I think I just barely beat him. Hopefully the microphone picked him up being a sore sport back there. I got a net one out my nose. Uh, you're both going to have to walk up there and get the judge. Don't touch the arrows, guys. Tom, I call Ty. Ty it is. Lena has to move over. Huh? There we are, right in line with each other. The Didn't top, I, I think the top one would be closer since it's at nine o'clock. Well, Tom called a tie on the way down. He was nervous that I was closer. All right. Told you those were the hard ones, didn't I? Had all. Well, you both would have lost the foul sheet. And you're well, gonna... that Tom, you're still the loser, bud. Round before that. First shot be last. All right, go ahead. Comes Tom beside me. Oh. And it's about seven o'clock. Be about six thirty. The bottom edge of the plate. And he missed the whole plate. So there's no use zooming in on that one. Let me get the errors, Tom. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What do you think, Thomas? Ah. Well, folks, I think this, this is uh, where it comes down to experience and uh, just a little bit more being uh, into the trad life, uh, taking your time, not rushing through your shots. Tom? And uh, Yeah? I do think I was closer on that one we called a tie on, but hey, now I'm down. I don't Two know. one. Losers go first. Oh, that's usually the pressureless shot. That's when I hit the bull. But uh, I'm pretty good under pressure. I don't know about doom, hitting doom, doom, the bull. Doom, 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 doom. I'm confident with that shot. You shoot first. All right. Let me zoom in here. And that is what, 10 o'clock? About 10 o'clock. I'd say about 10.05, but yeah, whatever, you call it whatever. 10.05, what's that mean? <laughs> it's 10.05, I don't know. Just a slight off 10. <clears throat> I just... Here comes 10.05, man, shooting. <laughs> We should not be poor Hold sport on, like he was on me that one shot. I, I have to say this. He's probably going to miss something plate. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he would be like a tick burrow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here it comes, folks. Oh, folks. <laughs> Tied ball game. <laughs> Looks like I have to shoot again. Do you mind to, getting those errors? Does that one go to Ben? Sure does. Uh, Thomas? It's a tie on the, if you're going from... Zoom it in, Pops. If you're going from the circumference of the plate, we're both in the rail. Pops, I zoom it in. can't zoom in when he's rear ends right Move now. out the way, Tom. What are you talking about? Move out the way, Tom. <laughs> I have the W. He pulled the arrows out. Yeah. I've got the W. Can you believe it, folks? We are rolling to shot four. Close ball game. That's Remy. All right. Who? Remy. Oh. Got
Got to stop chewing on your uh, bibs and answer this question. All right, back here, buddy. Did Dad win that round? Or? Hey, bud. What's up, old buddy? Did Uncle Tom win that? I oh, think I won that one. That's my one. Elena, who won that round? I would think I'm not doing this because he's my dad. Nice. Ben Stevens it. won. Thank you so much. I say, I say we settle this here. We need to know what the score is. Here. It's uh, two to two. Okay. Shot four coming up. I say. I say. This is shot five. How can it be two to two and shot <laughs> four coming up? Shot five. <laughs> That was my bad. It was a homeschooling coming out in me. <laughs> that was when I was in the fifth grade two years ago. That's bad as 10 He was in the fifth grade twice. All right. Tom, like they say, the loser must shoot first. Time out. It's a shot for the winner. Quiet on the green. <laughs> Oh, he's next to the black folks. <laughs> Zoom in time. <laughs> I think I see some red on that black. Folks, this is where I had to really dig down in my courage and uh, work on my form a little bit. Try not to throw my hand as much. My hand was throwing a little bit, pulled me off to the to the left about about that much every shot so this time I just dug down in there and let her go and you see how that pays off folks folks I'm trying to dig up my courage <laughs> I believe I can do it I do it's not like the courage of the cowardly dog I really feel like this one here is going to be a good shot Tom, <laughs> ben, congratulations. It's all right, son. Well, uh, the real deal is when we're in the woods and we'll both congratulate each other and you can drag out all my deer. Long enough, Tom. That's long enough. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> all right. Let me zoom in on this. Tom, go down there and... Uh-huh. Be, be perfectly honest with you now that he's walked off. Uh, I felt kind of bad for him being younger and all that stuff. I was really putting a hurting on him there. And... Uh, as you can see here, folks. Kind of threw my hand just a little bit for him. Well, as you can see here, folks, this is the, uh, the aftermath of the shoot-off. Smells like victory to me. Uh, I will uh, go ahead and pull these arrows, and we'll go inside and run over this footage. Thank you for watching Stevens Family Outdoors. Right now is the time that he probably should thank God that I'm a Pentecostal minister when he does that stuff to me. He's down there. I pulled my hand on purpose. Just enough. See, see, watch this. Just enough. Every day. Yeah, I'm going to shoot him from 20, 21. 21? 21 arrow. I think he's only good from this 15 yard range. Well, are you going to step back about to about 20? That's accurate. All right. We shall see you then. <laughs> hey. Just pick him. What's up? Chewing. What are you doing, buddy? Chewing on his good huh? shirt. Get that away. Get that away. We'll get it. That's Pappy, buddy. It's not going to rain for a while. That's Pappy, buddy. That is. <laughs> Eight months old today, folks. Eight months old today. Wow. Said dad dad yesterday. Said pap pap the day before. Is already out here <laughs> ready to hold the antlers on a nice buck this year. <sighs> Tom, I told told Papa. Papa. JW. JW. Pappy. Uh, that we're going to back up to 20 for one arrow. I feel like that you kind of have 15 doubt in. Okay. You know, Tom. Here's the deal. Let me smell that. It smells like, yep, that's what it smells like, all right. You know what that smells like? <laughs> it smells it? just like I flinched so you could win. 
So here's the deal. I feel like you have 15 figured out. But if we move back to say 20 to 25, I feel like that's when I'm going to get to victory on you. And there'll be no more mercy. I remember out here when I was younger, I used to shoot gnats as they flew to a corn cob we had on there. So here it goes. Let's move back. <laughs> I'd just like to say, I'm here to make bow hunting great again. We'll see. Have to mute this out, this is... All right, folks, 20 yards. So to be fair, Tom and I are gonna flip this coin. I'm gonna flip it. Heads, I shoot second. That's tails. just how we'll do it. Heads, he shoots second. Tails, I shoot first. That's right. No? Yeah. yeah. Heads, I shoot. Heads, I shoot second. You're tails, Tommy it, shoots you're first. You're making it complicated. Flip the coin. You want to flip it? Okay. Flip the coin. Tails. It's heads, man. This is a double-headed coin. Give me that back. Give me that back. Go ahead and shoot. Never lose, folks. Never lose. Scooby. <laughs> Have an intruder over here. Get back here. He's making sure there is no cheating. He probably smelled the, the scent of flinch down there. What's up, bud? Hey, hey, right, can't run it, bud. Well, messed me up. <clears throat> Want to see a smooth draw on anchor here? Good follow through. Oh, Lordy. Pulled that one real bad. Folks, I probably could just shoot like this. Well, the way you've been shooting looks like you have been. Uh, I'm going to get serious here. I think that was the target in front of the target. That was the, uh, that was the plate. plate. He hit the plate. Oh, the top, was very it? top, very top. Top, very. top of the pie plate. Yeah, 12 o'clock. Go pull him, son. Tommy's <laughs> about 7 o'clock, 3 feet to the left. <laughs> I told you you had 15 down. What do you think, Tommy? I think I'm going to get the full draw next time. All right. <laughs> There's always excuses with him. You saw the last round when it was best of five. I was perfectly honest about everything. No cheating, no excuses. I mean, the knock is not an excuse, it's legit. I think he tampered with my feathers down there the one time he I pulled mean, it. You weren't making an excuse when you said about that? That's camera? right. No excuse on the air knock. Oh. The fletches, I'm pretty sure he messed with my feathers. Oh, oh hey, Tom. Okay, very good. All right, well, I'll give him another chance. All right. Give him another chance, man. I'm gonna give him another shot. Alright. Potential cousin. <clears throat> Ooh, let me zoom there. Won't regret it either. Let me zoom that. Yeah, that's about a folks, it's very important that you get the full draw before you release your bow. And anchor. And don't throw your fingers. Who's talking there? That'd be Fox Hide. As we all know, folks, after making hundreds of young spiders in one session, the female Black Widow eats the male. So the Black Widow shall do some damage. We'll see. Tree bark out from under me. I don't need to be cockeyed. Well, can you just step back once? To, there you go. Got to reset my feet. Reset Thank you for that. Feet. Yeah. All through that. Yeah. It's what the Indians squirrel. used to do. Find it not every once in a while too. Oh, yeah. Six o'clock. I think we're tied, folks. <laughs> one to one. Why are you laughing for? I gave you the second shot. Tiebreaker. We'll do it. Tiebreaker. We'll All right, go pull. Will. <laughs> <laughs>
you know, he's younger than me by 14 years. So, what are you supposed to do? Show him up? It wouldn't be right. I mean, we all know what the truth is. I'm going to look at him. Poor guy down there. He's wearing his pants and his shirt and his hat backward. He's in that phase still, and he's, he's just excited to compete. Hate to break his heart. See, look at him tampering with my feathers. See him? Tampering with my feathers again. See, he thinks we don't notice him. See? He doesn't think that we've noticed him messing with my fletches. What are you doing down there, Tom? Fixing your fletches. See, he said he was fixing my fletching. They had sunk through the plate. <laughs> so, nice fact about the uh, black wood he had there, but did you know that the full-grown Samic Sage has the surprising ability to swallow a full-grown giraffe in one bite. I didn't know that. I guess it's my turn, isn't it? My turn, my turn. I'll go first. <clears throat> Losers are supposed to go first, right? That's what I heard. You know, there was a drop of rain that startled me off my elbow when I shot. Look, it's no joke. The camera a good one? See it? Right there. See that drop of rain, folks? Right there. Startled me. It flinched. But you know, I've seen him miss by three foot, so I'm still okay. It was actually more like 11 inches. It wasn't that far. The first shot. Yes, wasn't that far. It looked like three foot to me. Whatever it was, luckily it was a wound. He was able if to get away. That's your way of measurement. <laughs> Ready for me to step in the camera dramatically? You did right there. A little overconfident. So I what think. you're uh, what you're telling me here is, all I got to do is skim the plate, just a little bit. You just have to touch it. And I win. Miss the plate, we shoot again. Sounds fair to me. Well, wait a second. That'd be me at win, maybe. No. No, you, you missed the plate hit too. The plate to even. Got it. Win. Understood. Yeah. I mean, if you can't hit the plate, you shouldn't even be Hopefully cheap. Hopefully the burrow can hit the plate. <clears throat> Full-grown draft. Guess we're shooting, shooting again, again, cousin. I knew the pressure would be too poor soul. It's too high strung. Go ahead, pull those arrows for us again if you would. I'm your help there. See, I'm telling you, watch. Watch when he goes down, he messes with my fletches every time. He'll do something again to him. Is that your hair? No, the other one is, right there. See? See what he does? Every time, he's got them all wet. I'm gonna switch up and we'll pull five some on him. All right, Tom. Go ahead, Tom. Why'd you just, that's my era, son. Where'd you just bring that out of? Hmm? What? He had to hide behind his back like he didn't pull my era for me. <clears throat> all right, here's Tommy. Hold still. It's Tommy shooting. For the fifteenth time. Him and his fox hide vein. Two out of three. Quiver case, homemade. This is called Sumurai concentration. The see, red fox caught by the toenail. Stick out. That is a sign that he is fully concentrated. He, he would not have had that fine quiver if that fox would have pulled the toenail off and he escaped the trap. I guess it'll be legal for the burrow to speak when I'm shooting too. Oh, <laughs> oh how'd you get those deer last year? I just wanted to shoot. Here's the deal. 
I think I'm going to switch errors. <laughs> So you're telling me all I have to do is the raise the plate to where it makes a plate noise. Yep. You have to put a hole in the plate even if it's just on the edge. Fine, fine. How about a hole in the black? In the plate. So that target below it's black also. Oh my goodness. What? You missed. <laughs> Did you miss? I just missed it. Oh my goodness. Tom. The arrows. Boys, I'm running out of camera light here. All right. Pull the arrows, Ben. They not pull the arrows for us. They ought to be real easy. Well, Tom. Ben. Starting to get a little bit worn out here. I think I should get pretty serious now. We should end it. How about this? The winner only wins if the opponent Lucious. misses Lucious. the plate. So you hit the plate anywhere, you both have to hit the plate. The first one hit the plate and the other one that doesn't, that's a loss. We're shooting so bad right now that that's, that's been a the challenge. Rules the whole time. <laughs> closest, to the black, closest to the black dot though, if we both hit the plate, would win. But it doesn't matter where you hit the black plate if you both hit the plate. He's doing that like he's going to hit better than me. I'm giving him a chance here. You just explained the rules. That were the rules already. Tommy, get up there and shoot. Look at that. A piece of grass on my fletches. Threw me off a bit. See if we can back up just a hit. Right there. Get me on this hill, man. There you go, mom. Three o'clock. About an inch off the plate. Need I say more? You got the plate in the shot real good. What? Can you see really good? He should have went up on it. <laughs> oh, go pull those arrows, brother. That was a good, good show, good show of competition and sportsmanship. I enjoy shooting with you, brother. Hey, go ahead, go pull those hands. I appreciate, I appreciate shooting with you. I yes, appreciate it. Yes, that's it. very lovely. It. Thank you. Hey, I'll, I'll be the champion I am and pull the arrows. Well, folks, this is where it, <clears throat> this is where it comes into real sportsmanship, knowing that you could take a battle and you just not to. You want to give the confidence build up so that they'll hunt traditional for the rest of the year. So I knew whenever we first came out here that I was going to lose just for the fact of I wanted to get his confidence built up just so he would uh, feel confident out in the woods to maybe take his first traditional deer and it, it all pays off so much just look how happy he is here we go well I guess it isn't the bow he loose ways he hit the hay bale yeah we're not talking about a square bale Back up. There you go. Last shot of the evening, folks, for the boys. But it doesn't matter what I shoot. Tom, you mind coming in here? Tom, it has been fun once again. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I learned some things today. Yes. 
Would you like to know what they are? Sure, why not? You're only good from 15. Any further, no. you need some practice. Yeah, I think I'll step it up a little bit, get some practice in my Very good. Go pull those errors, buddy. Go pull those errors if you don't pull mind. This here, bro. I sure will. Yeah. I kind of feel bad doing that to him, but he's got to learn someday he can't be given everything in life. I mean, I had to take his bow that even a woodpecker would reject pecking at and uh, shoot it. I thought letting him shoot this here recurve, this nice black widow, would maybe do something for him, but nah, I'm going to be real kind to him. Though. He's kind of down right now. Good shooting, Tom. Good shooting with you, buddy. I really appreciate it, man. Let's just fire one more together, same time, each side of the camera, just for fun. Gonna let Pop zoom up on them as we walk and get our errors together. All right, you ready? Ready. Sound like two hits. All righty. Move over, man. Hey, man, that's a good shoot. That's awesome. What's that? <laughs> he hit the other target. He didn't hit the plate. <laughs> Oh. You know what that was from, don't you? Mercy. If you're gonna break my heart and break it. Just in case you're walking out of the woods and, it, and you see a deer behind you and you just have to keep walking. If you, He's bedded down, remember? And you just keep walking and you draw as you're walking. Shoot. I hit him in the gut. There it is. It's been fun today, Tom. Can you say the same, Tom? Oh, absolutely. I'm glad you're going trad after you get these 500 comments that you weren't expecting on Dad's video. <laughs> 500. Hey, it's been fun, Tom. It's been, been real fun. fun. Kind of feel like we both gave it our mediocre at best activity. Mediocre. I, uh, I do feel early on in the competition of five. I could have done a little bit better if you didn't, uh, if you didn't. I do appreciate you picking out the crack knock. That right there picked my game up. Then I started shooting weird and the fletches were wet and it's not raining. So I think you might have been licking them. It's a little weird. So, you have anything that might have made threw you off a little bit? Oh, nothing too I, I don't mean to interrupt you. Anything besides the fact you're shooting a Samick versus uh, a Widow? Not really. I mean... This isn't my I'm one of I'm one of the guys that you shoot what you can afford. And uh, I certainly am shooting what I can afford. I'm borrowing. That's that's a true point you got there. But uh, I've taken a few deer with the Samick and had recoveries. So uh, I'm happy with that. I remember my first deer 
with a recurve, was with the Samic Sage. Brought it back and we made uh, rabbit stew with it. It was a small one, but boy was I proud of it. <clears throat> well, Pops, why don't you come up here on the camera? Pops is suffering from an injury in the shoulder and he's uh, not able to shoot, so that's the only reason we came out to shoot. Well, like an injury we in felt, the pride. We felt like that we uh, had a chance. Well, Pops. What? Why don't you, <clears throat> why don't you go ahead and tell them what, what you saw out of your, your boys here today? Need What's for that? a lot of practice. Let's re-say that, Pops, and be nice and kind to us. Need for a lot of practice. Uh, what do you think, Tom? Don't cry. <laughs> I hate it when they do that. I hate it when they do that. All right, boys. All right, boys. <laughs> Just need a little practice. <laughs> That's better, buddy. That's Every better. day. <laughs> Every other day. So, no. That's much better. <laughs> All right. That's better. That's much better. Give me some. All right. All right. He said every other day. <laughs> he said every other day. That's good, buddy. Oh.